This year's review for April 13th. First up, FNB uh, got down on the open, didn't even come close to the trigger level. Nothing to do here. Next up, ABBV, ABV. Nice move over the level, uh, about 20 minutes into the day for a trigger. I gave a couple of long tails up here. This first one was enough to say it's probably not going to go any higher. Get out. We're treated today pretty much as a Friday. So don't expect much of a trend on a Friday. Uh, AU, <coughs> the Conkey Anglo Gold, gapped up. Nothing to do on the open as it came back. It, it hit support here at the moving average, provided a nice support entry, and went all the way up to about the highs and gave a signal to get out up here. Next up is GDX, Gold, uh, gold Miners ETF. Off the open, there was a nice opening drive to, to the upside. Did not have the follow through though, as you can see. They tricked a lot of people in along here and came back right below it almost immediately. Came down to support, consolidated a little bit, gave a entry sit up signal right here, just over 24 and a half. Consolidated, confirmed it was going to move up. Couldn't really plan on it going much higher than this level up here. And this little doji star right there was enough to tell me it was a time to get out of the, of the trade. Took two trades here. One first one was very small loss, second one. Got me just above break even basically. Next up, Marriott. Now uh, this one had a little bit of a fake out. This initial move up over my level here was a little bit too steep. And I ran into sellers pretty fast, came back, had a nice little pullback here. And once it broke back above my level, uh, there was another opportunity to go ahead and get in. But just like the previous trade, there is no sense in thinking it was going to go above this level here. So once it had uh, some weakness there, it was time to go ahead and close that out. And uh, getting just back over break even from Marriott as well. RSX, very slow moving stock here, provided a decent looking trade, got in here um, just as it started to break above this wedge here and stay above it. The stop loss was never really tested, stayed well above 20 for a while until we had to move up to these prior highs. It may continue higher, may not. The market's actually pretty weak here lately today. Uh, next up is PJX, PJ Max. Opening drive triggered in just at, above the breakout level. Um, didn't test the stop for a while until it put in a double top, and then that was a reason to tighten the stop up here. Once uh, once there was weakness at this inside candle, and I went ahead and tried to get out at least as close to the highs, and ended up working out pretty well. And that would be it today. It looked like I had uh, six winners and one did not trigger.